question one of our um, exam paper is a, a cash, ooh, cash uh, budget question. As the accountant for Dynamo Services, you are asked by your manager to prepare a cash budget for the next two months. You will be presented with the following information. And we're given sales for June, July and August. And it says, based on previous experience, sales are expected to be 25% in cash for the, in the month of sale and 75% credit. Credit sales are expected to be collected 50% in the month of sale and the balance in the following month of sale. So that's a bit of interesting information. Um, the June inventory purchases were 10,000. All purchases of inventory are made on credit, so that's important, and are paid in the month after the purchase. So we'll be given some purchases here as well. It is expected the following monthly operating expenses will be incurred, and so we've got some operating expenses. All operating expenses will be paid in cash in the month they are incurred. That's a good thing too. The business intends to purchase a new computer at the cost of 10,000. A deposit of 15% will be required in July, and the balance is paid in the following month. Motor vehicle expenses of 2,000 are paid in August. Cash balance was at the seven is uh, at June was 7,000. Now we've got to flip the page because it asked me a question. Calculate the schedule of receipts for Dynamo for, for, for uh, bleh, Calculate the schedule of receipts from debtors for Dynamo Systems Proprietary Limited for the months of July and August. And then the second part is to prepare a cash budget. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Let's prepare a schedule of cash receipts. So now we've got some sales, so and it tells me that we've got cash sales as well. So let's have a look here. We've got uh, June, July, and August. And my sales are seventy thousand dollars, eighty-five thousand dollars, and sixty-five thousand dollars. Now it tells me that twenty-five percent of cash. So twenty cash is twenty-five percent, and that must mean credit is seventy-five percent. So we need to make some calculations before we start um, um, pulling in our schedule of receipts. So let's just turn that on. So I've got 70,000 times 0 0.25 equals 17,500. So that must leave me with 53,200, or 52,000, 52,500. Uh, here we go, next one, 85,000 times 0 0.25 equals 21,250, 21,250, which will leave me with 65, 64, 63,750. And my last one, which is 65,000 times 0.25 equals 16,250, which when I deduct 65,000 equals 48,750. Now this is the information here that we'll need for collections. Now we were asked to do collections for July and August. Okay, so I only need July and August. So let's have a look at July and August. Okay. Now it tells me that I'm collecting 50% in the month of sale. So if I'm selling it in June, I'm collecting 50% in June, and then I'll be collecting 50% in July. So I'm just going to whack a little 50% there. So if I'm selling in July, I'll be collecting 50% in July and 50% in August. And if I'm selling it in August, I'm collecting 50% in August. Now that's just in relation to my credit sales. So let's go through here. Well, let's do the first one because we've got it here. Times 0.5 equals 24,375. 
Uh, you can see it better when I tilt it back a little bit. So let's do the next one. I've got 63,750 times 0.5 equals 31,875. And that's for both months. And I'll have a 31,875. Oh, no, what? What am I doing? I'm going crazy. I've got 52,500. So 52,500 should be about 26,250. It's 26,250. All right, so excuse my mental lapse there. Now we need to add those ones up, so to see what we've got from collections. So we've got 26,250 plus 31,875 equals 58,000. That's, no, that's not right. Clear that, because it can't be 107. I must have punched the numbers in wrong. Let's try that again. 31,875 plus 26,250. Ah, that looks a bit better. 51825. And this one, let's have a look at this. 31,875 uh, plus 24,375. 56,250. Now that's the collections from my credit sales. We've also got to include what we had from our cash sales as well. So I'm going to include these two numbers as well. So I'm going to have 21,250 here and 16,250 here. Because my cash sales are still collections from customers. So let's have a look. We've got um, 56,250 plus 16,250 equals 72,500. And in my other one, I've got 58,125 plus 21,250 equals 79,375. Now that gives me my receipts from customers. So I've got my receipts from customers. Now I want to prepare my cash budget. For Dynamo Systems from Products Limited. Um, now my cash receipts. And we're doing this as for the months of June and July as well. So we've finished A and we're now working on B. So my cash receipts, now that information just comes down here. So I've got a July and an August. So I've got my information that just comes down from there and there. So I've got cash receipts of 79,375 and 72,500. Okay, that's my cash receipts. Now I'm gonna work on my cash payment. So I can say I've ticked off that, I've ticked off that, I've ticked off that. In June, inventory purchased with 10,000. All purchases are made on credit and paid in the month following. So that'll be my July payment. And that must mean my August payment is this one. So let's go inventory, so cash payments. Cash payments are inventory. Now it was 10,000, which was June. And July, which is paid the following month, of 68,000. Take that one off. Now it's, we just run down some expenses. So my expenses are salaries, which are 10,000 per month. And rent of 5,000, 
5,000. Operating expenses of 6,000, which included 2,000 in depreciation. Now, now depreciation is non-cash. So I have to deduct that from there. So it's not 6,000, it's 4,000 that we'll be looking at. So uh, operating expenses, I'll just abbreviate to OPEX, is 4,000 and 4,000. My advertising is 850 and 750. Oh no, so no, 850. I'm getting one step ahead of myself. And my electricity is 750. 750 and 750. All right, so that takes care of all that. All relevant expenses we made in that. The business intends to purchase a new computer at a cost of 10,000. A deposit of 15% will be required in July. So we're going to have some cash flow. Now it's 15% of 10,000 is 1,500. The balance will be paid in uh, August, so that's 8,500 in August. Motor vehicle expenses of 2,000 are required to be paid in August. Motor vehicle is 2,000 in August. And my cash balance is 7,000 in July. Well, it looks like we've got some cash payments together. So let's have a add these up. I've got 10, 20, 25, 29, 30, 30,500 plus 1,600, 30,500, 30, 1,000, 32,100. Okay, we've got 78, 83, 87, 87, and 10 is 97, 97,500 plus 16 will make. 99,100. All right, didn't need the calculator after all. Now I'll use the calculator. All right, so now I'm taking my cash receipts, less my cash payments, to give me net cash. So I'm doing uh, 79,375 less 32 equals. 47,275 and we've got uh, 72,500 uh, minus 99,100 and it's going to be a negative cash flow so we've got 26,600 I'm going to bracket that to indicate negative cash flow tells me here that my cash balance at the end of June was at 7,000 so opening position Cash was 7,000. That must mean my closing cash is 54,275. And that becomes my opening position the next month. So 54,275 uh, plus 54,275 equals. 27,675. That's my closing position there. Now we've got item number C, so that finishes my cash budget. And item number C says, a dividend payment is due to be paid by Dynamo Systems Limited on the 1st of September. Will the company have sufficient cash to make the dividend payment? You must explain why or why not. Well, if they're gonna be paying it out of there and they wanna pay 40,000, they're gonna be a bit short, so Will they be able to make the payment? No. They will need to source some short-term finance to pay the dividend. And that is my cash budget.